As October merged with the month which officially heralds winter, a variety of world affairs held the nation's attention. It was a rainy October morning as the King unveiled the memorial statue of his father, King George V. In the shadow of the Houses of Parliament, the celebrities of the land assembled to commemorate a great king. The stature of George V was recalled as a son paid tribute to his father. I am glad and proud to unveil on the statue of my father, in which the peoples of the United Kingdom and of the Commonwealth and Empire have set up as a memorial to him. Earl Baldwin, the late King's last Premier, was among those present as the King went on to say, We cannot honour him more than by showing each of us in our daily lives those essential virtues of courage, loyalty, true religion, a devotion to duty, kindness and sympathy, which marked his whole life. Together with the Queen Mother, the Queen and the Princesses, the King stepped into the grey autumn day to take a final look. The statue is the centerpiece within the capital of that great national memorial spread over the whole kingdom, the King George playing fields. It is set up jointly by the people of Britain and the Commonwealth. The following day brought an event